The best thing that happened in my career is uh, just knowing that I love what I'm doing. Literally. The one I'm coming out with is more personal. Like, uh, my other ones are more like playful and party ish, but like, that's when I was young. And like, I came in young and like, I got like a little buzz and snap, but as like I got older, I matured and like this new this new project I'm working on is like this shit. The best piece of advice I ever received was never listen to what a person tells you to do and do what you feel. Uh yeah, without doubt, fucking with that tough flow. Take a chance, make mistakes, and come correct. They call me Charlie Brown, take it to my side of town. My favorite rapper as a child was Nas. Like, that was the first cassette tape. I got that shit tatted on me right here, Illmatic. And then, um, but I grew up down south, so I was, I was like an outcast looking into that shit. But, I mean, right now my favorite artist is Kanye. And then, because of like what he's did and done, and, like, just the culture in general. It's probably, I want to say either Bob Dylan or. Or Jitney Spears or Jitney Houston or some shit like that. In 10 years, I see myself on TV, magazines, fashion shows, on the face of a fucking t shirt that your daughter's wearing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. Disney In the sky. Disney Channel. Your favorite porno. Let's fuck with you. <laughs> Coming for you, Miley. Love a life till I die, nigga. AKA that fly, nigga. That's it? That's it. Shit, that was the dopest interview I ever had in my life. <laughs> Five seconds. Put them like right here in like white lettering. Just, say, just at Jit on the track, everything. And all my links right here. So if you guys are watching this right now, it's like right in this area. I got it. <laughs>